Hey, I'm on live. Y'all not popping up on my screen. Good morning. Hi, Felita. Hi, Christina. I hope you all are having a great morning. Who's sad this morning? Ain't no reason to be sad. We woke up this morning. God called our name. It ain't no reason to be sad. Ain't no reason to be mad. Ain't no reason to be angry. We got everything to be grateful for everything all right you all so i got a few things i got going on this morning i'm about to put on my denter i'm about to put on my dinner so the first thing i want to do you all is remind you all i do have a cookbook sale where you get half off on my digital cookbooks for thanksgiving so if you don't know what you're cooking grab your book okay it is 140 some recipes in book two and over 40 recipes in book one. Okay, so this is what it looks like if you want to print it off or you can keep it on your device. Um, book two does have recipe, I mean, uh, pictures and it is in color. Book one is not. All right, the website is cookingwithaisha.net and you use code at checkout Thanksgiving. Okay, so let me put those back over here. Use checkout code, a coupon code, Thanksgiving, okay? Good morning. Hey, Giovanni. Hey, Giovanni. I like to say your name, Giovanni. <laughs> Good morning, Karen. What y'all up to this morning? Good morning, Barbara. Somebody said they just woke up. I know that's right, honey. It's Saturday. We ain't got to just jump out the bed unless you got to go to work. Saturdays are my lounge days. I don't do nothing on Saturday. I have a few dishes from last night because my dinner last night was an omelet. I made an omelet. Y'all know we're doing the weight loss challenge. I am down 13 pounds. 13 pounds and we're on day what? What's today's date? Whatever today's date is, that's the day we on. Down 13 pounds. And y'all see my, my double chin is gone. Hey now, my double chin is gone. That's usually the first to go for me, my 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 face fat. <laughs> you can tell when people lose weight from their face. At least for me. Hey, Ursula. Hi, Terry. Good morning from Tallahassee, Miss Lee. I haven't been to Tallahassee in a minute. Now that they sell them crabs here, I don't really go to Tallahassee like that. Sure don't. I used to go there all the time for my uh, blue crab. Thank you, Carolyn. You know the process works. You just got to work it. That's right, that double chin. I can't do it no more because the fat gone. But normally when you have a double chin, you just go like that, and then it just pop right up at the bottom. Mine gone now. Mine gone now, so I can't double chin, y'all. So I still have about 20. I got close to 30 more pounds to go. And I'll be good to go. Good morning, Miss. Is it Lisa? Miss Grace. Thank you. Hey, cooking and chatting with uh, Dirty Sally. Y'all, let me tell you something. It be real out here. So, <laughs> I had a nightmare last night, you all. That, um, well, in my dream, somebody uh, at my church was uh they wanted me to make them some um dirty rice i mean not dirty rice red beans and rice and fried chicken right so in my dream i'm making them this meal as a family actually at the church they wanted me to make them this meal i don't know why i was making it but i was making it. i was cooking it and then i messed around and made some of my dorito chicken wings y'all know them dorito coated chicken wings fried wings y'all i was tearing the wings up in my dream i woke up like oh my god I carbs <laughs> I was so 
devastated. So when I woke up, I was happy that it was a dream because I was tearing the wings up my dream. And I can't be eating them right now. And then I stepped on the scale and I was down a few more pounds. I was happy about that. So I ain't trying to gain no weight, honey. Trying to get it off, not gain it. That was a nightmare. I was really devastated that I was tearing the wings up like that in my dream. I had dreams like that before. If you've been following me, you know I've talked about it before. I've had nightmares where I be tearing food up in my dream. And then I wake up and it's just a dream. Now, somebody was asking me about the lip colors I wear. So I brought those in here for y'all. Today I am wearing, this is the, the lip color I normally wear for those that ask. And that is the, uh, it's called Amber. It's this one. I can't read this name. Let me see. Brown Girls Beauty Co. I think somebody may have sent this to me. Brown Girls Beauty Co. That doesn't sound like something that I picked up at the store. I think somebody sent this to me. Uh, it says Amber LL8028. I don't know what all that is. I guess that's the number, but this is the, the lip. I don't like anything too bright. So the only one you'll see me wearing that's bright is this one. You've seen me wear this one before. And this one is just New York. It says NYX. I'm pretty sure I got this either from the Walmart 516A. That's all it says. And then I wear this other one called Crazy for Coffee, number 275, I get from Walmart. So it's kind of like the other one. <laughs> I'm pretty the same about everything. See, they almost identical. I don't really go off the edge. So every now and then you'll see me do a different wig or a different hair color, but I'm pretty the same old, same old, same old. I don't like to really get outside the box too much. So let's make my coffee and then I'm going to show y'all what I'm cooking for dinner. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. So I'm just doing my little Keurig here. That's all I'm doing. So y'all know. I need to actually um, get me some more Keurig cups. So I can chat with y'all while that's warming up. I should have turned it on already, but I need my coffee and I need my low carb creamer. Let's go get that while that's warming up. Good morning, Sherry from Decatur, Michigan. Good morning, Valerie. Good morning, Mary. Yep, you can see it in your face. But you know what I noticed? So the first week, you all, I lost 11 pounds. And then I, I became kind of, um, you know how you lose the weight and then you're like kind of, you're not, sorry, y'all. Let me get back in the light. So when week two started, um, I kind of figured that I'll start losing inches, and that's what happened. There are certain clothes, you just pull them up with ease. You ain't got to be doing all this, jumping around. So I noticed that I'm losing weight in the, the waist as well. So I started losing inches around my waist and stuff. So praise the Lord. It's working because I'm working it. And I ain't going to stop till I lose my weight. So y'all eat them carbs. Eat the carbs for me because I'm not eating them. I'm not eating them. And I'm only drinking water. So I'm only drinking water and I have coffee sometimes, but I'm not, no sugar, no sugar, no bread, no rice, no pasta, no potatoes, no deep fried foods for me. Whatever day this is. <laughs> so, all right, yeah, let's make this coffee. Let's make this coffee. Thank you. Thank you, dear. I'll probably stay here another year before I sell it. I'm trying to let Aaliyah graduate. She don't know that, but it doesn't matter because I'm the mother. <laughs> so I'll probably sell it in the next year. Um, if I stay in Dothan, I may sell before next year. I'm not buying another house without a gas stove. And I'm not paying almost $10,000 to have one put in. So I'm going to look for me a home with what everything that I want, starting with a gas stove. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. But you know what? I was thinking of just Airbnb in my home. I could just make it an Airbnb. Middle is being most difficult. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> It's hard to lose weight if you have issues with your thyroid. And um, I had a friend, I was telling you all about that. One of my girlfriends, 
from a long time ago, you know, back in the day, it was not popular to be thick or big, okay? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm an 80s baby, so you know how that is. It was in to be thin. Nowadays, people just all over the place, you know? And I say be happy with what you want to, you know, whatever. But um, she had uh, thyroid issues. And so when we were, like, getting around our senior year, she started gaining a lot of weight. But people didn't know she was on medication for her thyroid, and they started to tease her about her weight. She confided that with me. I didn't tell nobody. But uh, people didn't know why she was gaining that weight. And that's why she had thyroid issues and she was taking medication. So she had to deal with the ridicule. And um, I felt bad for her. You know, so it is hard to lose weight if you're on medications, have different illnesses, things like that. <clears throat> that's why it's always uncouth for anyone to mention someone's weight gain. It's, it's uncouth because you don't know what's wrong with people. Some people are sick or even their weight loss. So it's like, you know, you wonder where you grew up at. You, you never talk about a person's weight. You just don't because you don't know what's going on with them. You don't know why they gaining weight or why they losing weight. People be sick and everything. But people ain't got no home training, chat. They ain't got no home training. They say any and everything, especially on the internet. So let me show y'all. So this is regular coffee. Um, my creamers are no carb. Let me show y'all. I use Coffee Mate. Okay. And as you, you just want to go to your nutrition. Total carbohydrate, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. No sugar, no carbs. And I'm okay with that. I can drink my coffee with no sugar. Because that's how bad I want to get in these jeans that I got hanging in my closet. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's good, too. Trust me. When you're desperate, you'll do something about it. And I was desperate, honey. You get tired of looking at the back rolls when you put your dress on. All right, let me let this water out so we can... You got to get desperate. When you want to lose weight, you got to get desperate. You got to get desperate. And until you get desperate, you're going to keep on shoving that food down your throat, eating all that fast food, making you big as a house. And it ain't nothing against it if that's what you want to be. Some people like being big. My body ain't made for that, though. My knees ain't made for me to be big. If I get to a certain weight, I, my knees will start bothering me, my knees and my back. If I get to a certain size, my knees and my back will start hurting, literally. I've been there. I've been there. So, uh... It brings about different issues for different people. And some people, uh, you know, they can handle uh, weight gain. I, I personally can't. It bothers me. It bothers my health. You can use honey in your coffee. It's just that honey is loaded with carbs. Loaded, loaded, loaded with carbs. Let me see something. I'm going to show you something. I don't want to stay. Honey's natural. Okay. So I'm not I'm not gonna ever tell you not to drink or use honey. Okay. Um, but if you go to your nutrition facts on the back of your honey, total carbohydrates is 17 grams in one tablespoon. There is 17 grams of carbs. And one tablespoon of honey. And I'm going to let you do the math with that. Because I don't know. You need a lot of tablespoons of honey to get stuff sweet. So, all right. Today I'm making me some pig ears. I sure am. I'm not having a pig ear sandwich though. Because I can't have the bread. And I'm making me some hog moths. So this is what I'm eating today. I'm about to clean my hog moths. And put them in the pot with my piggies and boil them. And that's going to be my denter for the next day or two or three. Because I know I ain't going to be able to eat all of this. So that's what I'm having. That's not what everybody else is having though. This is my uh, particular dinner. So I'm putting mine on first. 
And then I'm going to cook something for the, the, the family later. So I'll show you all how I do this. Nicole, I didn't make anything for breakfast. The kids had, well, the kids had eggs. They had eggs. Eggs and orange juice. Hold on, y'all. Let me put my stopper in here to clean these dirty, these dirty, dirty hog moths. I don't think I'm going to do hog moths in my chitlins this year. You can find hog moths anywhere, too. Well, not anywhere, but you can find them year-round is what I'm saying. Those chitlins is what y'all going to have a problem with because I bought my three buckets early on. So I would have them for my Thanksgiving. I sure enough did. So I just take my hog moths and put them in here. I'm going to show you what they look like when you break them apart. Because some people on here ain't never seen a hog moth. That's why I'm here. <laughs> That's why I'm here to show you. That's why I'm here. I'm telling you all, if I only cook the same stuff every day, y'all wouldn't be following me. You get bored with the same stuff every day. Day in, day out. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Chicken pot roast. Chicken pot roast. <laughs> you already can predict what I'm making. Alright, you all. These are hot moths. They break apart like that. Mm-hmm. You know how to cook them right. They is good, honey. That is good. I'm going to move my clean dishes over. <clears throat> so I can have this other sink. She said, it's a no for me. You making hot moths with your chillings? I did last year. I made hot moths with my chillings last year, but I got so many chillings this year, I'm not going to worry about it. Sometimes I put it in there really for the texture. But last year, um, I couldn't find any chillings. I only had like one or two buckets, I think it was. And here are my pig ears. It's an actual ear. They just, whoop, they chop it off just like that. Hey. <laughs> It's an actual ear. Gristle and all. There's a gristle in there. Okay. This is a pig ear. This is a pork pig ear. Okay. That's what that is. They look good too, don't they, y'all? If you eat them, you already know. You want it nice and pink. Okay, honey. This one looked like it was stressed out, but that's okay. He was probably stressed going to the butcher, honey. Like, they finna chop my ear off and my feet and all of that other stuff. Hog my say it again. I miss your comment, honey. And I'm just adding them in there. Really, with the pages, you just rinse them off. And then I like to get it's certain stuff that be on them. Like this one was stressed out too. Feel like he got into a fight or something on his way to the butcher, but it's okay. So yeah, I'm gonna cut these up. I'm gonna cut them up like my hog moms. That's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna let those sit for just a second and I'm gonna start cleaning those hog moths off so I can get them on. You can't rush this kind of stuff. You gotta, it takes time. It takes time to cook uh, your pig feet, your pig ears, all that. I started to make some soups, but I don't have everything I need to make cork soups. I don't have everything I need. Yeah, honey. I <laughs> okay, Rebecca, I do too. And the thing about me is I'll try anything once. I love that I'm not closed-minded. Some people just like, oh, I'm not eating it. I don't care. I'll eat anything. I'll try anything one time, whether I like it or not. You know, but I'll at least try anything one time. That's just me, though. 
And I'm glad I was raised to be open-minded instead of closed-minded because it will be a different thing going on here today. I probably wouldn't even be here. Hog moths, you know, that's a good question. I don't even know what a hog moth is. I just know it's a part of the pig. Somebody else will have to tell you what a hog moth is. <sighs> Melvin, you know, that's a good idea. I've never made mine in the pressure cooker. I like to cook mine on the stove because I like, when I cook my pork products on the stove, they get this sticky, you know, that sticky kind of juice. I like that, okay? When I make it in the slow cooker, I don't get that sticky juice. So it's like, that's the, that's the difference for me. So I love when my juices are nice and sticky. You know, where your hands be sticking together. It's the stomach, okay. Vonsetta says she's scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Unless you want to be scared. Thank you. Thank you, Bridget. Pig stomach. Do you have, hold on, I'm going to try to read your comments on here, because this one's behind this one, because somebody asked something about diabetes. And don't forget, my class is coming up on November the 1st. We're going to talk about carb counting and meal planning for those that are interested. Clearly, it works. I keep telling y'all it works. So if you, um, you want to join my weight loss group, it's always open. It's free. But the thing about it is, in order to know what's going on, as far as what I'm doing, the instructions and learning how to carb count, you have to take my class. But you can come in on your own program and just be a part of the supportive group, okay? Let me see. Let me go back. I guess I didn't miss it. Um... Thank you. I, I was looking for a question, but I guess I missed it. So let's go clean these hawk moths. <laughs> Terry said, I don't eat it, but I cook it for others. Okay. It does make good gravy. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I eat, um, I eat tripe too. I know that's the cow stomach. I do eat tripe. I got some of that in my fridge too. I eat everything, okay? I, I, I don't like beets. Beets is the only known thing on this planet I know I don't like. I do not like beets. I hate them. They so ugh. This, I don't know who created these. Now maybe when I get to be a senior citizen, maybe at some point I'll like these, but I cannot stand these things right here. I do. I hate them. I don't even know what their purpose on, on earth is. Why are beets here? Why are beets here? <laughs> I tried them though. I tried them. That's why there's a jar of them in there. Because someone recommended them. And like I told you all, I'll try anything once. That's a proof that I, I, I will try anything once. I put it in my mouth and started gagging. I just can't do it. Okay, if you've never cleaned hog moths, you want to cut this stuff off the back of your hog moth. Okay, if not, you're gonna. It's just like chitlins. Just these are easy to clean. You're gonna be cooking a whole bunch of stuff in your pot. It's gonna be a lot of stuff floating around if you don't cut this stuff off. Okay, so let me show you. I'm not gonna clean them all on live. I'm gonna just show you what to do. So you see that? So this is the part we're gonna eat. Okay, it's like a chitlin. All this right here, you want to get rid of that. Okay? So I like to just take some shears and cut it right on off. Mm -hmm. These are way easier than cleaning chitlins to me. Okay? Now, be careful you don't cut your fat off because there's some fat on there too that's attached to that mess you don't want. So you want the fat. You just don't want that other stuff. So that's what you want. You want a nice, clean hog malt. <laughs> that's what you want. So I'm gonna put these. Let me get a uh, a little bowl. And I'm gonna just put a 
them in this bowl over here with some water. So it won't take you long with all the clean these. I'm gonna get those done. I'm gonna cut up my pig here. Almost like making a soul pot. Only I don't have no pig feet. I ain't got no pig tail. So we ain't making no soul pot. And the more you do it, you just know what you're doing. Get them nice and seasoned, honey. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's too much water. And then you good to go. Oh, you got to put some on them. Put them on a salad. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can try them beets again, y'all. I don't. Because when I think about them, I start gagging. It's like a, it's a gag reflex I get. I got to stop thinking about it before my coffee come back up. That's how bad they were to me. Woo! Lord have mercy. Jesus help me. Help me to get my mind off of it, Lord. Mm. What's that? Oh, Lord, help me not to think about it. Don't you hate that when you can't get some off your mind that make you gag? That's how I am about loose teeth. Oh, Alana losing her teeth. Don't come to me with no wiggling no tooth. That is so nasty. Oh, I can't handle it, y'all. I can't. I can't handle blood. I can't handle none of that. It's. Oh, I get queasy. Somebody came in here bleeding one day, child. My knees started to go to went to buckling and carrying on. I almost passed out. I said, oh, Lord. Jesus, help me, Lord. I can't I can't handle it, y'all. <laughs> Renee said it tastes like their girl tastes. It's, it's gross. It's horrible. Now, with your, uh, with your ears, you want to get that stuff. You know, like how you got to clean your ears. You got to clean theirs, too. So, it's a little stuff being the cracks and crevices. Don't just cook your pig ears now. You got to clean them. You got to clean their ears. You are the Q-tip, okay? They just made it easier for you to get on in there. Yes, girl. Ooh, them loose teeth. She coming into my mama. Uh, doing all that with her tongue. Oh, get out of my face with that. No, 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 no. No, no, and no. I don't, I don't pull teeth. I don't do nothing with that. Ain't no tooth fairy, okay? Get that the mess out of my face. I cannot do it. My stomach was not built for that. I'm serious. Y'all think it's funny, but it's they, the kids but apparently think it's funny too. Cause they like to play with me. They know I can't handle that stuff. I'm serious. I pass, I pass clean out. So I ain't the person you want to be around. You get shot or something. Cause I'm I'm running the opposite direction. I can't help you. I cannot help you. I can't. Jesus knows I can't help you. It would take the Holy Ghost would have to come over me in order for me to help you. It would have to be the Holy Ghost. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I'm not wired like that. Everybody has their thing, you know. That's so my daddy. Somebody he wanted me to be a doctor. My daddy wanted me to be a doctor, and my grandmother, the one on the picture, she wanted me to be a dietitian. I could do the dietitian part, but a doctor, <laughs> daddy, he probably watching right now. Daddy, no, 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 and no, and no. Yeah, I'm, I'm very honest, you know, and I mean, it, like I said, it may sound funny, but I'm very real about it. I'm so serious. If you want to see me pass out, then bring some blood around me. Oh, Lord, I've been like this all my life. My, my oldest brother, not my oldest brother, my second oldest brother, he was outside playing one day, y'all, and skint his, uh, his arm on the fence. You know, the fence is the metal fence. You know how the metal fences are, y'all. He he was playing with somebody, and they pushed him into the fence. And came in the house, his arm was hanging off the skin. Oh, we was kids, too. I said, oh, my God. What is what is going on? That stuff is so gross. Ugh. And he just told me he didn't even know his, his, his arm was hanging off. His skin was hanging off. I was so grossed out, y'all. Oh, my God. And I was a kid then. I, child, this is me. This is who I am. I can't handle that stuff, man. Some people are fascinated. They see blood. They're like, oh, my God. I want to sew you up and go look inside your body parts. I can't do that. I cannot. 
I cannot. I'm grossed out by insects, so you know I'm grossed out by that kind of stuff. So you just got to know you. Know you so you won't put yourself in certain situations. You're a retired nurse of 30 years. I thank God for you. I thank God for people like you who can stomach the things that people like me cannot. I'm so serious. Because what if everybody was like me? You in the doctor's office, a nurse, somebody, every time they see something, sure. That's a, that's a calling. That's a gift. I do not have the gift of nursing or doctoring or dentary, dentistry, whatever you want to call it. I, I don't have the gift of none of that. I can't smell stank smells. I will gag. I can't still smell funky stuff. I don't like smelling pee. I don't like smelling any of that. That stuff makes me, it makes me gag. So you have to be called to those kind of, um, you got to be called to that stuff, you all. That's all I'm saying. If you call to it, you know, you'll have the grace to handle it. Like doctors, they have the grace to do that. <laughs> Terry said, Jesus, take the wheel. Hey, he didn't took mine. He, he got the wheel. That's why he keep me away from stuff. He know. The Lord know what you can handle. He know what you can handle and what you can't. He know what you call to. Like I said, if it, if it came down to it, you know, it's the end of the world. We out in the woods somewhere and something happened. A person get bit by a bear or something. I think the Lord would help me to be able to go through a situation. It's just not everyday life. I can't do it. Everyday dealing with stuff, I can't do it. And I don't have to do it right now. But if things get bad, which I know they're going to get worse, you know, who knows? It's just ain't nothing I got to think about right now. It ain't nothing I got to think about. I'm just cleaning these uh, Hallmarks, y'all. I'm so excited to eat them today. I'm going to show y'all when they're done, too. You just got to season them right, honey, like you season your chitlins, okay? And if you know what they taste like, you already, you already know. You already know. Good morning. Hey, Linda. Will you put a salad or vegetable with your moss? Lisa, I don't know because... Like I said, lately, um, since we've been doing the challenge, I haven't really been able to eat much of anything. I really can't. I can't, you know. So, I know I'm going to eat on these for a couple days. Good morning, Kara. I cooked the pickled pig ear. Well, good morning, Ray. But you smell it. You stink. Pamela, they don't smell to me. They don't smell to me. And if you clean them right... Then you don't even gotta worry about it. your house should not stink when you cooking chitlins. If they do, you're doing something wrong. That's all I gotta tell you. You're doing something terribly wrong on top of that. <laughs> so even my kids will tell you they don't even smell them. They don't even smell them. So, and you know the people in your house gonna tell you. Either they gonna complain, especially kids. Ugh, what's that smell? You know how kids are. But I I cook chitlins right in my house many times. I don't cook them that often. But when I do, never complain. So I've been making chitlins since I was a kid. I was taught how to make chitlins when, as a child. I was cleaning chitlins as a child. So I didn't got my practice in now. But like I said, if it's stinking, something wrong. I ain't eating no chitlins that's stinking. I'm telling you right now. I'm not, I don't, I not. I don't eat chitlins from anybody else. I don't eat them from a restaurant. I told y'all that one time I had that one bad experience. I was in a bad place in my life anyway. I was not listening to Jesus. I was running. I was in my my Jonah days, okay? And I was working this job, going to work, hungover, and, um, you know, hungover and hungry. Y'all know how that go. We all been there, at least some of us. Um, but anyway, I went to this place that was open, this little hole in the wall. Child, I was so hungry from the night before. And looked up that child, they had some chitlins on the menu. I said, ooh wee, I'm about to give me some chitlins this morning. I'm going to go right to work and eat these chitlins. Child, I got a plate of them doggone chitlins. Them things were so stank. Them things were so stank, y'all. I felt so bad for my coworkers. I got to work. I mean, yeah, I got to work. Couldn't smell them really till I got to work. Got to work, opened up them chitlins, y'all. When I tell you, it was all kind of stuff floating in that juice. It was this juice, and it was just... Y'all know what I'm talking about, what was floating. She didn't clean them chitlins. They took them chitlins out the bucket and put them right into the pot. That's what they did. That's exactly what they did. Because I'm looking at all the, 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 the extra stuff. And I just was so grossed out. That junk cost me like $11, $12. Mm -mm. 
And that's a lot when you're broke. Okay. $12. That, that's probably all I had. That was probably all I had. You know, and I didn't want to spend it on this junk. I was so mad, y'all. I was mad. Couldn't even eat. No lunch. Nothing. I ain't even eat that day. I ain't eat lunch. I probably ate when I got back home, but I ain't eat lunch. Exactly, Rose. You better tell somebody. People who cook chitlins know. It shouldn't, it shouldn't stink and it shouldn't be nothing floating in them. Whew. Nope. So that's why um, from that day forward, I said never again would I eat chitterlings from, you know, anybody else. And prior to that, it was a restaurant I used to eat. Y'all know if you're from Tallahassee, you know where Quincy is, Quincy, Florida. You know, Quincy's right up the road. There's a place I, I ain't going to call their name out, but there was a place I used to go eat over there every Sunday after church, pretty much, uh, especially at one point in my life because I was married to uh, my in-laws were pastors. So, um my mother and father-in-law were pastors at the time. So we used to go to this place at the church every Sunday just about. And shy, one of them Sundays I went over there and they used to sell this soul pot. And I ate some of that, you almost died. I almost died. That stuff almost took me out. That's why I said I, I've only gotten sick eating out. I never get sick when I cook my own food. Never, 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 never. Or my kids. As soon as we step outside the box and try to eat something out, that's when the food poisoning come in or something. I, I just don't know. It's just, just the way it's been. My daughter won't eat Burger King right now because she got, because <laughs> she got sick. <laughs> oh, Terry, stop talking about, what you want me to stop talking about? Chillings. It sure made me sick, child. We gonna, we gonna let it die though, because I, I don't fool with it. I don't fool with it at all. These are, these hot mouths look pretty good, you all. They're not bad at all. Sometimes you get a batch and they just, you know, like chitlins. You can get a good a good batch of chitlins. Good morning, Isaac. No, these don't stink. I can't even smell the uh, hog moths. So, now chitlins do have a smell when you clean them. It depends on your batch, but they're not as bad as, like I said, they smell worse if you cook them and they and not clean. So, um, but no, these don't smell at all. I don't even, I can't, and I smell everything. I'm that person. I can smell stuff from a mile away. I could, I am the smeller, okay? If I smell anything stanky, honey, I'm the first one to be like, uh-uh, what is that? What is that? I don't like smelling nothing stinky. What is that? Because I will call it out, and I'm going to find it. <laughs> so, I'm the professional smeller, okay? You don't want to be around me if you got some B.O. or something, because I'm going to be like, hey, what's that? What's that? You got to figure that out. We got to get that together. You gotta get that together. And I don't know if that's good or bad that I can smell everything, but I, I, I can smell really, really well, okay? My sense of smell is very high, very high. You said you too? Yes, honey, I, I be on that. I be on that. So, thank you, Kelly, good morning. I to, my cousin, I'm thinking I was pregnant. Oh, wow, Tracy. Girl, I'm trying to tell you. That's why we got to be careful. I'll never, you know, discourage you all from eating out, but I will encourage you to eat more at home. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's a blessing to eat at home because you know what's going into your food. You know what's going into your food. You know how your food is being prepared. I have worked at restaurants. That's why it, it, it behooves me when people come on people cooking, talking about how they cooking. You ain't wash your hands. You're playing with your hair. So, so what? It's their food. You go to these restaurants, you don't have no clue. You sit down with all confidence in these filthy chairs and booths with all these germs. You're ordering from food, food from waitresses. You don't know what they doing when they go around the corner. If they digging in their behind. If they playing with the hair, sweat dripping in your food. They talking all over your food, bringing it to you. You ain't got nothing to say to them. Making your drinks. You don't know what they doing to your food back there. I have worked in the restaurant. But you ain't got nothing to say about that. But you come on somebody live where you see everything they doing. You got something to say about that. Get out of here. Sit down somewhere. Have several seats, as they say. That's why I don't entertain that foolishness. You, you are a big dummy. Door dashing. You don't know what they doing to your food. You don't know what you don't know what these people doing to your food. Bring delivering your food, man. Get out of here. 
Get out of here. <laughs> Instacarton? But you don't say nothing about that. This is this is the world we live in, though. This is the world we live in. That's why y'all don't see me entertaining. I don't entertain ignorance or foolishness. Because you sound crazy. I don't care if I want to dig boogers in my nose and, and touch my food. It's my food. You ain't eating it. So why would that bother you but all, all the stuff you don't see happening to your food, they don't bother you. That's how backwards some people are. Backwards. It's a faith move when you go in the restaurant. You, you going in there by faith. Faith. Okay? Because you don't know what's happening behind the scenes. Oh, I tell you. So think about that the next time you try to you before you entertain some foolishness, child. That's why I say, man, you when you know better, you just do better. And, and, and some stuff you just can't even say nothing to, man. You just dumb. Just stupid. That's why I talk to my auntie. Because common sense is not common. That's exactly why she one of the only people I talk to because I can't I can't deal with stupidity, man. It's just it's too it's just too much for me. It overwhelms me. <laughs> too much stupidity overwhelms me. I have to talk to somebody who on my level, man. It's just like it's just it's just too much. It's too much, y'all. That's why I stay in the bubble. Cause the stuff you hear, child, the stuff you hear in this day and age from old people too. I ain't even talking about young people. At least they get a pass. When my daughter say stupid stuff, at least I could still teach her. But when folks be older than you talking crazy, child, you just be like, what in the world? What? Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. My daddy always say a fool at 40 gonna die a fool. A fool at 40 gonna die a fool. I told you, I told a man that one time too. When I was out fishing, I said, you know, my daddy always told me a fool at 40 going to die a fool. He didn't know what to say because he was talking foolish. And I was young then. I was in my 20s and I told that man that. Sure did. And he was well over 40. I ain't got time for it. I ain't got time for it. I just don't, y'all. My, my tolerance for, for foolishness is so low. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I just look at people like they're crazy sometimes. I just... Okay. I can locate you real easy. You on the dumb train. <clears throat> y'all, when I tell y'all, I'm so excited about these hog moths. And I may just say my chitlins, you all, for... um. If I can't find any chitlins for, uh, you know, for Christmas, I mean, um, yeah, because my daughter, my oldest daughter, she she loves chitlins. My kids eat chitlins, so that's not an issue. But my older, my oldest daughter, she loves uh, chitlins and stuff, so more than Aaliyah. So if I can't find any more, I may just wait and make them for, uh, make hog malts for one holiday and make chitlins for the other one. Or split it up some kind of way. That way we can have it for both. You said New Year's? Sonya say preach, preach. Girl, it's just, it's hard not being who you are, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can only be who you are. You know, and I understand everybody has has been raised differently. That's why I'm not hard on people. I kind of just stay to myself. Y'all can hear the way I'm talking. That's, that's why I just stay to myself. Because I call you out. I'm not going to call you any names. I just call out the truth. The truth is the truth, man. It's just, it is what it is. I ain't got to call you no names. I ain't got to cuss you out. I just speak the truth. And sometimes the truth hurt, at least for me. It's hard hearing the truth. But I'd rather hear the truth and do something about it than somebody to lie to me. And sometimes you can't even be mad. I have mixed them before, Keisha. I don't want to mix them this year. I mixed them last year, but I, I'm pretty sure I only mixed them last year because I didn't have enough chitterlings, but I have enough chitterlings this year. So I'm going to look. I haven't seen chitterlings lately in the store. I don't know if people buying them all for Thanksgiving, but I'm going to look. I'm going to show you how I clean these hog mouths all over. I'm just about done, y'all. I didn't think I was going to finish them on this live, but I ain't. They weren't bad at all. Just got to rinse, rinse them a little bit. They look real good. Hold on, let me. That's a good one. That ain't need no help. 
This was a good batch. Hog moths aren't that dirty though. They aren't dirty like that, like when the ones be. I'm gonna show y'all. Okay. I need to wash my hands, honey. Wash my hands. Your hands. <laughs> Not hands, hands. I ain't even got the shrivel fingers yet. So we're doing good. Yeah, that's that's true, Terry. I don't I don't be I don't ever be done with people. That's not it. I just deal with them a certain way. Y'all see these hot monks? We just about there. Yeah, I'll never be done with people because I'm called to ministry. So it's just that there's just a certain way I deal with people. Okay, you just, you just, God just has been teaching me how to deal with people. I'll never be done with people because I'm called to the people. I'm called to the people. So, and I do love people. Don't get it twisted. I ain't gotta, I ain't, I can love you and, and not like your stupidity. That's, that's a totally different story. I love you and tell you the truth in love and, and, and then still do anything for you. That's how I am. I can, I can tell you the truth, still love you and still buy you lunch. You know, it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't hold grudges and stuff. Like I'm not, I don't say things to people to hurt them. I'm only going to say something to you to help you. Just like I would hope you would do the same for me. You know, it's just like, I don't, I don't get that. Some people only trying to hurt your feelings or something. I, I, I'm not like that. So I'm all about self development and self growth and growing in the Lord. So, I mean, that's that's all I care about. Edification. I don't care about foolishness. No, I'm not going to do lettuce, Joyce. I'm just not going to do any type of bread substitution. I'm just going to um, I'm gonna cut up my pig ears. And that's it, Terry. It's, it's about growing up. And everybody doesn't want to grow up. And you have to respect people. Just respect that they don't want to grow. And that's what I do on a daily basis. I respect you want to stay where you at. But I can't stay where I'm at. I can't every day I'm trying to not trying I am becoming a better version of myself in the name of the Lord and the only way we can do that is if we invite the Lord in and allow him to change us daily that's the only way it's gonna happen that's the only way it's gonna happen I can't grow without Jesus I can't grow without him I'll be it's stuck in one spot just like some other people these scissors came it's Farberware they came with the uh you know the uh the little set that I got from Walmart. You know how you can get those little knives set? They come with a uh with a pair of shears. That's all it is. Good morning, Sandra. Yeah, that's all it's about. That's why that's why we shouldn't judge people at all, at all, because people can be saved and still doing a lot of things. That's why you can't listen to everybody and, and all that stuff. You you don't know if a person saved or not. Only God knows if a person has given their life to Christ. But the where we get confused is a person can get saved, but then they don't invite Christ in to change them. They don't invite the Holy Spirit in, and they just they just want to stay at that point. I'm saved, but I'm gonna still keep doing all these things that I was doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep drinking. I'm gonna keep smoking. I'm gonna keep having sex who with whoever I want. I'm gonna keep cheating. I'm gonna keep you know so. People, when they see that type of behavior, they automatically say, oh, that person is not saved. And that's, that cannot be true. Now, there's a difference when you get saved and you invite the Holy Spirit in to have its way. And then your, your life will start to change. It's, it's inevitable. If you are open to it, you're going to start changing. And you're going to start changing on a daily, on a regular. Okay? So that's where the confusion comes in. You know, that's why we shouldn't even judge people because you don't know what. You you can't judge nobody's heart. Only God can do that. That's why you just get saved and live and, and, and you it's between you and God. Your personal relationship with Christ is between you and him. Now we shouldn't get saved and then try to be leading people astray. That ain't right either. But like I said, I ain't the judge. That's why I don't judge folks. That's not my job. My job is to love, 
to love you in spite of whatever you decide to do. Whether you want Jesus or not. That's, that's between you and him and your, your eternity. I know where I'm going. So, I mean, I can't make that choice for you. That's your choice. Everybody has their own free will where they want to go and what they want to do with their life. That's why I don't bother nobody because it's your choice. Sheila, I am cleaning these hog moths because I'm gonna have that for dinner. Some hog moths and some uh and some uh chit uh I was gonna say chitterlings. Hog moths and uh what is it y'all? Pig ears. That's what I'm having. Hog moths and pig ears. Hog moths and pig ears. <laughs> Amen, Victoria. Hello. That's right. And God not gonna force us to change. Change that change is on you. The change is up to you. Like I said, some people content with not changing. But we can't tell them they're going to hell because they don't want to change. That, that's, that's for God to do. Now, if somebody gets saved and they don't want to live right and they still doing X, Y, Z and they go and, and they stand before God and he say, depart from me, that's between them. They ain't got nothing to do with us. Just You just do your part. Love people and let them live their life because it's their life to live. It ain't yours. That's selfish. You want to live your life and somebody else's life too? That's why I don't be studying these people coming up on my live. You ain't finna, you gonna run your page and mine too. How crazy you sound. You sound like a crazy person. I got my own personal page, but I'm gonna come over here and tell you what to do too. No. Nope. You got the right one. You got the right one. I promise you I'm the right one. I am the right one. <clears throat> And catch me on the catch me on a certain day. I'm really the right one. <clears throat> I'm just like anybody else. Some days I listen to the Holy Ghost, and some days I don't. So <laughs> just catch me on the right, catch me on the right day. The Lord saying, "No, nah, don't say it, daughter. Don't say it, daughter." <laughs> Hold on, Lord. I got this one. <laughs> That's what you say, right, Lord. Let me let me get them, Lord. Let me get them. Let me get them today, Lord. Like I said, I ain't, you ain't gonna ever hit me because you're at. But I, I'ma say something I want to say. I, I can say what I need to say without cussing and carrying on and calling you a name. I sure can, and I can do it well. I can do it very well, very well. I ain't gonna be no cussing or name calling, and I can t I can get you straight. I promise you that. All right, y'all. This is our trash. We need to get something to put this in because this is going in the trash. We do not want to. <clears throat> Let's see. I've done pig feeding. Yeah, that's good, Dante. Right, Stephanie, the right wrong day. That's what it is. And I've had some of them on here too. Just be, you know, just. Just don't do it. Just be cool, man. Just that's why I say I like I like cool people because I like and, and the thing about it is I just like being around people with common sense. It's really just common sense. It's common sense. It's common sense. It's just common sense. Common sense. That's what it boils down to. Jesus, the Jesus is extra. Common sense is Common sense, boy. I had to learn. I, I was grown before I realized common sense wasn't common. I was grown. I kept saying, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" Because I, I just I've never really been a person. I've never really been um, around a whole lot of people like that. I've always just talked to the same people. And as you start venturing out, like with social media, I started realizing that common sense is not common. And I had to go through that whole lesson. You find out the more people that you have to deal with, it's, it's not common. And if you go around life thinking it is, you're going to have a hard time just like I did. You got to accept the fact that it's not, common sense is not common. And it's as a matter of fact, it's very rare. It's more rare than common. So when I find it, I'm excited. And I'm not surprised when I don't see it. So, not anymore. That was one of the lessons I had to learn when I first started my cooking page. So... This ain't common. Where is Paco? Aaliyah! Because I don't see him. Let me look on my camera, y'all. Let me see where little Paco Poo is. 
Good afternoon, Marva. I'm doing, I'm, well, just for me, it's just going to be uh, ears and moths. Um, I don't know what I'm doing for the family yet because I have some other stuff to fix for them. I got to go in the deep freezer and get something out for them. Let's see what Paco is, you all. I don't see him. He might be at the front door. Yeah, he probably sitting at the front door because I don't see him in the back. Oh, is that him? Nope. Oh, I see him. He on the back porch. Okay, I see him. It sure is. You know, it sure is. And your pastor is absolutely right. Like I said, life becomes easier. See, these, these kind of life things, you know, once you learn certain things, it makes life more easier and it makes it more peaceful. And then you know how to deal with people. That's why I know how to deal with people on my page because I've learned these little nuggets. I'm all about having peace in life. So I make it my business to learn certain things, you know, and what I can't understand, I just let it go. Cause some things aren't for us to understand. It ain't for me to understand every person and, and all that. And I ain't got to, and it don't bother me. But once I understand certain stuff, like like with the common sense, child, it makes stuff be so easy. You just look at people like they crazy. Because that's what it is. And all it do is make them mad. Because people be mad they can't get to you. But you have to you have to create that space. When people can get to you, it's because you allow them to. That's your choice. Just like it's your choice not to let them get to you. Hold on, y'all. I know it's loud. So when you clean your chitterlings, you're going to have a lot of this stuff. You're going to have way more than that. So this is the stuff I cut off of my hog moths. Okay? So all of that came out there. Like I said, they really weren't dirty. So, that's the good part. They really want dirty. Now I'm going to put them back in the sink. And I clean mine with bleach. It's like a little bleach and something else in there. And I'm going I'm to rinse them. And then we're going to put them in this pot. Y'all, because we gotta cut up our um, we gotta cut up our uh, figures, and he will give you peace when you're washing your hog moths or chitlins. You want to wash it until your water becomes clear. Okay, your water should be clear. And I'm just gonna cut my, just cut it up into little pieces. Okay, just so y'all know. Yes, I use bleach and fabuloso. Fabuloso. That's what's in my little. I'm not bleaching my, my food, but I bleach my sinks. Oh wow, twenty five is that normal? Twenty no, twenty five a bucket. That's that's high, right? I think mine were only like ten dollars a bucket when I bought mine. And God will give you peace. He'll show. He listen. If God hadn't given me peace, you all, I couldn't be here. I just couldn't be here. I went through a lot of changes since I started my page, and um, like I said, I, I wouldn't even be able to be here. And I'm just cutting up my hog moths on to you all. Hey, Marcia. I'm almost 50 and never tried them. What's your question, Veronica? You've never tried hog moths? And they are hard to find in some areas. I'm hearing that. 
you know, I'm in a very country town, so that probably helps me out a lot because all those country foods I can find around here. Use bleaching down. I use bleaching my uh, dishwater as well. So I sure do, honey. Okay, 25. Yeah, I think that's a little high though for chitlins. I wonder why they so high. They just taking everything up. These people done, these people done lost their mind. I don't know what's going on. They're going to make everybody stop eating. That's all that's going to happen. Everybody going to be fasting and eating vegetables and growing their own vegetables. Matter of fact, that's one of the things I wanted to start in my yard. So I have all this space for a garden. But I knew that this wasn't my forever home. <sighs> I need a garden. They're going to make everybody fast. Everything going up. The cost of living is going up. The cost of food is going up. But ain't nobody getting no increase on their job. <laughs> hey, Renee. I don't hear that. I don't hear the cost of paying people going up. If it is, I ain't heard about it. Maybe it is. <laughs> hey, Latasha. It is ridiculous, Keisha. It's ridiculous. I was thanking God yesterday. I thank God every day for something to eat, y'all, but I was just thanking God. It's a blessing to be able to have food to eat. I don't care what it is in this day and time. Anything is, is a blessing to have, child. I don't care if it's a pack of ramen noodles. That's better than nothing because there's some people starving right now. They starving. Okay? Especially in other parts of this world. I tell my daughter that all the time when she go to throwing stuff away. I said, man, you got to stop throwing your food away, man. There's people hungry. It's kids, little kids your age, five years old, dying of starvation. What it used to be. Exactly. I don't know why children so high. I'm glad mine wasn't high. I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have gotten none. <laughs> if they was $20-something dollars child. I wouldn't have got none if they was that high. They, they would have still been sitting there. Somebody else would have got them. Oh, good. Somebody getting a raise. That's what I'm talking about. Praise the Lord. People, people on food stamps, they getting raises. But everybody not on food stamps. Everybody not on food stamps. Ain't nothing against food stamps. Because, child, if I could get them, I sure I'd be the first one in line. Ain't no shame in my game. I'd pull that card out so quick. <laughs> And swipe it in front of everybody. Like it's a gold card. Shoot. Sure would. Y'all remember food stamps was in a book? Back in them days, you'd be ashamed to go to the store with food stamps. <laughs> Pull out that book of five, the book of twenties. <laughs> you got them brown ones. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Going to the store with them book of food stamps, honey. What you talking about? Pull that book out. Mm-hmm. They didn't got fancy schmancy now. Got a card. Got me a debit card, honey. I sure take one. I sure will. Y'all better be proud of that food stamp. Get you some wick too. It's free. Go get you some wick if you can get some wick. Sure enough. Just go to the so early so ain't nobody gonna be behind you. You know, because it's going to take a while. Don't be shamed about that. Shoot. We've all been at some point in our life where we had to, where we needed some help. I remember being on week. Show sure did. I did all that. Wasn't no shame either. Wasn't no shame. Going right up in there, do my little checkup for my kids. Thank you. Thank you for that free milk, them free vouchers. Appreciate you. Show sure no do. Appreciate it, honey. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. Got these hot mods. Y'all gonna see them. I ain't cut them up real, real small, but they gonna shrink some anyway when I cook them. Sure be tired of cutting, don't you? Somebody tired of me cutting? <laughs> y'all tired for me. <laughs> oh, this cutting. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, good morning. Is it still morning or is it afternoon yet? It's still morning over here. If you on the East Coast, it's afternoon. 
That's auntie, what she talking about. <clears throat> Let's see what I'm Sharon's talking about. Yeah, I know that's my baby. Good morning, Correct. Hey, Correct, where you been? I feel like spanking you. Some some people I don't see a long time. I feel like giving them a whooping. Where you been, Correct? Good morning, Doris. Mmm. Oh. That was cold, y'all. Ugh. Ugh. Hey Wanda, they can they can have that crab too. They can have that crab, honey. Hello. Hey PTL, <laughs> you at the laundromat? Ah, I just wanted to call you real quick. I'm on live. I wanted you to say hi to everybody. Oh, <laughs> All right, you on speaker? I'm on speaker. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. They Thank know you. Lord. They know who you are. <laughs> Y'all say praise hi to Unsharon. She said, "Praise the Lord." <laughs> <laughs> how long you That's been there? Yeah. Now, how long you been there? Uh, about an hour. Oh. I was supposed to take J Jason to work. <laughs> oh, okay. I was sitting, I be, I be telling them how we be talking about how common sense not common. We just been having a little talk this morning. Oh, praise God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that is certainly is not. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was grown before I realized it. <laughs> they saying good morning, I'm Sharon. Good morning. They say, hey, I'm T. <laughs> I, I say the same thing. Praise God. <laughs> that's that's cool. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, they, they heard about me. I heard about them too. <laughs> yeah. See, I talk about y'all to my auntie, but they they hear a lot about you though, because they know you pretty much the only person I talk to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, yeah. well, you almost done? Yeah, I am, because I was bringing comforters, so I just took the stuff that I. I was taking Jason and he, and, and when I got out in front, he sent me a text about eight in the morning saying, could I take them before 10? Okay. And okay. when I, 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 I just built my morning around, uh, about, around doing that, you know what I'm saying? Thinking I had to take him and do, you know, I was sitting in front of his house at quarter to 10 and mm -hmm. I said, I'm here. I'm here. I sent a text and I looked on the phone and said, I don't need a ride. Oh. <laughs> Boy, that so, J, that J, that J. I tell you. Mm. So that's why I'm at the laundromat, because I was going to go drop him off and stop the laundromat, and I put all my stuff in the car, thinking I'm going to drop him and, you know, and come back. And so I just went on and did it since, you know, he said, you need to call me. Don't don't text me to say don't come and get you. Yeah, right. Um, so that's that was, right. That was not, yeah. Okay. Well, I, uh, well, let me know when you make it home, and I'll call you. I'll be all, I'll be off by then. So I'm just okay. putting my little dinner on. Oh, y'all have a good little time. I'm tell everybody praise the Lord. They hear you. She said oh, praise okay. the Lord. They can hear you. You don't speak to them. They can hear you. <laughs> they talking to you. They saying all kind of stuff. Hey, auntie. <laughs> you so cool and all kind of stuff. They saying all kind of stuff. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> I hope to see him one day. I'll, I'll be, I'll well, be there. Well, you'll be back. Yeah, because they've seen you before. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. They have the advantage over me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. let, me, let me know when you make it home. Okay, baby. All okay. right. Love All right. You. Love you, too. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, Shane, cool. We talk every day. I tell her to pray for you, Carlene. We talk every day. Every day. 
every day. And you know what's funny is um, my Aunt Sharon, she had a close relationship with her aunt, just like me and her. <laughs> she, her aunt, her and her aunt, man, all the time. They would talk all the time, every day. So, she, you know, she always tells me how she had a hard time when her aunt passed away because that was her best friend, just like she's my best friend. I talk to her every day. Not a day goes by that I don't talk to Aunt Sharon. So, yep. So, some of you all, if you've been following me, you've seen her because um, I flew them into Tallahassee a couple years back. Her and my dad, I flew them in from St. Louis. I surprised them. It was real funny because I flew, I, I told both of them that I was flying them in, but I didn't, I didn't tell them that each of them were coming. And I intentionally put them on the same flight <laughs> and got them a seat right next to each other. So I bought one ticket and then I bought the other ticket. And I, so my aunt Sharon, I think my dad was at the airport and I was talking to him and he told me, that look like Shay. They call us Shay, her siblings. And I said, it is. <laughs> and sure enough, they found out they was getting on the same flight coming to see me. So uh, that was funny how they found that out. I blessed both of them to, uh, you know, come down. We had a little vacation time. If y'all remember that live. Ooh. You talk to your aunt every day. Carrie, you remember that? Yeah, it was funny because they didn't know. They didn't know. My dad was just, and I was on the phone with him intentionally. And uh, he was about, that look like Shay. <laughs> and sure enough, it was her all right. And I just let, I got off the phone and let them kind of have their little time. You know, together. So it was it was real nice. Veronica, what is what tastes like? The pig ears or the pig? What the the hog moths? I'm gonna have to use a. Uh, hold on, y'all. Where is my? Where is my other knife? The uh. Are you asking what the hog moths taste like? They taste similar to chit chitterlings, just with a thicker texture. This pig had a big gristle, honey. Big fat here pig. Okay, he had them big ears, honey. Hold on, y'all. We're going to put these in the pot. Mmm, hmm. -hmm. Yes, God. Won't he do it? Won't he will? Won't he do it? Won't he will? <sighs> and that's that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to need this, so let me rinse this off. my onion. I'm going to chop some onion into my hot mouth. Aww. Yeah. I don't even like to think about losing my aunt at all. Oh, man. This one. Ooh, that bleach. I don't even like to think about it. And that's just the way I talk to God. I say, you know, on days my auntie don't feel well, I say, God, not today. Not today. You're going to have to call somebody else today, not her. Not her. Okay? I done been through enough in life, God. Now, nah. call somebody else who ain't doing nothing. Mine's Sharon, she's serving a purpose. <laughs> All somebody else's number. Not hers. All right. 
Not my auntie, baby. Uh-uh. Nope. I'm making... Right, Carlene, that's how I pray. Not her. Not, it's, it's too many people to call, Lord. It's too many. Too many to call, Lord. <laughs> I ain't trying to be funny, but I do get selfish when it comes to her. Too many to call, Lord. If people want to go, pick one of them. You know, there are people that don't want to be alive. They, they want to go on on somewhere. <clears throat> And I pray for her daily, honey. Uh -uh. She, my auntie, she's lived a good life. She's done a lot of good to a lot of people, man. She and she still do. She's gonna be missed if something happened to her, man. She, she's a good person for real, for real. And everybody can't say that about people. And I ain't just saying it because she's my aunt. She's a good person. If anybody have crossed paths with her, you go to church with her, or anything, you know she's a good person. And she'll treat you, whether you related to her or not, she's good to you. Like, she'll be good to you. <clears throat> and like I said, you can't say that about everybody. You just can't. That's why I said, I've been to funerals, man. And people ain't crying or nothing. Ain't no kind of emotion. People ain't got nothing to say. I have been to a funeral where people do not, don't even get up and say nothing. Like, huh? But that's the life we live. Whatever life you live, that's how people going to remember you. And that's going to depend on if people going to miss you. Because some people die, you be glad. You be like, ooh. Not glad like that, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> they really just didn't serve their purpose too well. I know we don't like to talk about that, though. I keep it too real. All right. I'm gonna put some water. I gotta put some bleach on my little shears. I usually just use these for meat. Meat purposes. Okay, y'all. We did it, you all. What you say about the... I missed it. The, okay, so the hog moths probably were like 7 or $8. Um, and the pig ears were about $6. I got four ears. They're really cheap. Like I said, where I live, they're really cheap. They may be a little higher where you live, depending on demand of them, I guess. Let's put some water in here now. Trying to drop that, honey. Oh shoot! I gotta wipe both of these. You cannot wipe your uh your glass top, you all, with bleach. That's what I did. So I gotta wipe it again with my. I use Windex. People always ask me what I clean my stove with. It's Windex. That's what helps it to shine. And the key is always touching the. I got some um, some spray for this. I just can't stand them little hand prints, y'all. I have some stainless steel spray is what I was trying to say, stainless steel. All right, let me show y'all this. So you see how clear that water is? That's what you want. You should not have no dirty water. Pour it. 
as they say, period. <laughs> I try to keep up with the young people. Period. This is Greek all purpose. That one tablespoon is going to be enough. Okay. Hi, Tanisha. I am making hog moths and pig ears. Yeah, I have to clean as I go. I cannot. And I will not clean. I will not cook in a dirty kitchen. I just cannot. Will not. It's just unethical. Timothy, I look young. Child finna be 40. I'm old. Older. I'm almost at the hill. I'm going up the hill. Okay? <laughs> I am officially going up the hill as of November 6th. You on, you on, you going up that hill at 35. Okay? I'll be 40 on November 6th. I am going up the hill. The Lord willing, I'll make it down the hill. I may be, I may slide down the hill though. I'm walking up, but I may be sliding down. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord for the hill. Some people didn't make it to the hill. Some people didn't make it to the hill, honey. I may need another onion. I like onion. I may have to do one more hill. That's right, Latasha. I agree. I I don't want to be younger for nothing in the world. Nothing. Nothing. These young people can have it. I don't want to be younger. I don't want to be young again. I don't want to go back to no place in my life. I'm happy right where I'm at. I'm happy right where I'm at. <laughs> happy early birthday, Miss Janice. Yeah, Latisha, I ain't mean old. I mean I'm older, you know. I am at the hill, though. I'm going up the hill, baby. And at 50, I'm going to go down that hill. I'm going to go over the hill. That's what's going to happen. If I'm still here, baby. I sure am. I enjoy every year I get older. And, and I don't look back. Not for that reason. This world too crazy. I don't want to go back. Yeah, Kalisha, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, but I think there's something to do with, it has something to do with how we are mentally too. Like I cannot do stuff in clutter. If the kitchen is dirty, I cannot cook. And it's like, I put too much love in my cooking. I can't even really give my food what I want to give it if it's stuff everywhere. I cannot do it. Same thing with a closet or I cannot deal with clutter. Clutter just does something to me. I can't, I can't, I can't do what I need to do. So until I declutter certain things, I'm off. Look at all these November birthdays, hunty. All right, right now I'm just putting in these onions. We put a little bit of Greek in there. I'm gonna put some more seasoning in. That's right, I enjoy every day that God gives me. I sure do. I sure do. Because life is just too short, honey. Nope, onions don't make me cry. I don't know why. I've heard that it makes some people cry. It could be the type of onion that I use. Uh, I only use, I do not like sweet onion. Um, I only use the, the, the yellow onion that's not sweet. So somebody know what I'm talking about. I, I don't like sweet onions. And I don't like the just the white onion. Now, I'll use any onion. But if, if I'm buying it for myself, um, I like the yellow onion that's not sweet. Okay, the yellow onion that's not sweet. Okay. 
Amen. Because we ain't have to be here. That's why I don't never complain. We ain't have to wake up or none of that, child. Folks dying right on in their sleep. Sure live. But God woke us up. He said, not you, not today. You ain't dying in your sleep today. Okay, now. Come through, Jesus. Come through with the wake-ups. Come through with the wake-ups. Okay. <laughs> I'll be glad to wake up. Praise the Lord. That's why I say people come on your live sad already. What you sad about? Child, you're breathing. You above ground. That's enough right where that. You woke up. That's not enough. Is waking up not enough anymore? What, what is it that you need to make you happy, sweetheart? What you need? Because if waking up ain't enough, I don't know what to tell you. Because if you don't wake up, you can't do nothing else. <laughs> if you don't wake up, you can't cook. If you don't wake up, you can't see your kids. You can't see your spouse. If you don't wake up, you can't go walking and exercising. If you don't wake up, you can't go to work. If you don't wake up, you can't pay your bills. I guess some people don't want to wake up to pay bills. But if you don't wake up... You can't watch a TV show, watch the game. You can't do nothing, hang out with your friends, go on vacation. If you don't wake up, you can't do nothing. Okay? Period. So, I don't know what to tell you. Waking up ain't enough. Don't know what to tell you. Because <clears throat> that's enough for me. If I just get that wake up, then I can do what I need to do. <laughs> I can do what I need to do with my day. Even if it's nothing. Like I told y'all, Saturdays are my relaxed day. So don't come emailing me. Don't come bother me on Saturday. I don't do nothing on Saturday. I cook and I lay in my bed all day long in my pajamas. That's what I do on Saturday. Because that's all I want to do. And I'm intentional about that. I'm intentional about doing nothing on a Saturday. Because that's my time. Sundays is for the Lord. I get, well, every day is for the Lord, but you get what I'm saying. Sundays are pretty busy. I have to go to church. That takes up part of my day. You know, I'm cooking dinner, getting the kids ready for the week. Saturdays are my day. Some people let Sabbath, the Sabbath be their Saturday. Some people let the Sabbath be their Sunday. But either way it go, even God rested. Even God rested. And, it, and, and the thing about it, we have to understand about how it talks about God resting after he created the heavens and earth and everything. The thing about it is God didn't rest because he needed rest. I believe that was put into scripture that God rested so that we would know we need to rest too. If God did all that creating and everything that he did and all those, and, and the days that he did, those six days, he didn't need a rest. God don't need rest. <laughs> I think he was teaching us we need to rest because some people will go 24 7 every day and not rest and that's not good for your body it's not good for your body and whatever god has called you to is not going to wear you out it's not if it's wearing you out you're doing too much okay you need to go back to the drawing board and really see what god has called you to do because god's work does not leave you exhausted god's work does not leave you with no time for your family god's work does not leave you with no time for yourself god's work does not leave leave you uh confused and bewildered because you just so exhausted and laying up in the hospital and carrying on that is not god's work so sometimes we think we're doing god's work and we ain't we we just a busybody. we think we're doing the work of the lord and it could it, it could be good work it's just if god ain't called you to do it you're just wasting your time um josephine i put some baby girl i put season on I put granulated garlic. I put a little salt, not much. I put some black pepper. And I think that's all I put for now. That's all I put for now. I'm a, oh, I can, you know what I can put in mine? My, red pe my crushed red pepper, because ain't nobody gonna eat it but me. At least I ain't gotta worry about Alana. My older girls, they can have some, but I like crushed red pepper in mine. Not too much, but I like a little. Just a little bit. In my younger days, I could eat spicy stuff all the time. Not days, I can't. Uh -uh. Like they say, child, stuff be changing with your age. I can't. I can't do that spicy stuff like I used to. All right, y'all. So 
I got everything on. That's pretty much it. Um, any questions before I hop off? Thank you, uh, Miss Bullock. Any questions before I hop off? Thank you all for hopping on with me and talking to me and watching me do my uh, hog maws and piggers. I'll show you all the finished product. I'm just eating this like this. Normally, if I wasn't on my weight loss challenge, I would do a little rice. I'm not doing rice this month at all. No rice, no pastas, no breads, no potatoes, no sugars, no added sugars, no deep fried foods. I'm only drinking water and sometimes I'll have coffee. I don't even drink coffee every day. No sugar in my coffee, just the carb-free creamer. And it's just, like I said, you got to be desperate enough for it. I'm down 13 pounds since we started. I think this is day, what, 14? This is day 15. I'm down 13 pounds. 13 pounds on my weight loss plan. So I'm going to continue on as the Lord gives me strength, reach my weight loss goal, and then I will have some rice again until then no rice for me no pasta no bread no potatoes no sugars y'all can have it all and i'm not jealous because i'm losing weight and i'm losing inches my double chin is gone i'm losing back rows okay my thighs are getting smaller so i don't care my waist is getting smaller so i'm not jelly at all <laughs> go ahead and eat them carbs eat some for me eat some for me honey Thank you, Miss Brown. You got to try it. Love you too, Joyce. I'll tell her Sharon. <laughs> Thank you, Veronica. My double chin is gone. <laughs> Thank you. No sugar or added sugar. So you know regular sugar is sugar. So no brown sugar, no white sugar, no powdered sugar, no sugar, no sweets, no cakes, no pies, no ice cream. Anything with sugar, no sugar. That's what no sugar means. No sugar. I just made some coffee. No sugar. Not a little bit of sugar. No sugar. So to avoid sugar altogether, I just don't eat nothing with sugar in it. At all. No candy. No sugar. <laughs> That's what it means. And to avoid drinks with sugar, just drink water. Oh, I did want to try a drink while y'all are on here. Hold on. Let's try this drink together real quick. Anybody ever tried this? Tampico Zero Sugar. Anybody ever tried this? Keisha, I know it's hard, but see, I have a strong willpower. So that's why I said um, before we started the challenge, I said if you can do all of these, do at least three. Do at least three because I don't expect people to do what I do. I know I go to the extreme because when I'm on a weight loss, when my mind is focused on weight loss, I go to the extreme. I go to the extreme and I'm tired of not being able to wear certain clothes and dresses. So I'm just like that mentally. I go hard. I go hard or I don't go at all. So that's just how I am with anything. Either I'm all in or I'm all out. <laughs> I got that on high, y'all. Let me turn it down. So um, I cannot halfway do anything. I can't have, like, I can't, I'm not wired like that. So it's like, either I'm all in or I'm all out. Period. Hold on, y'all. What you need? Hmm? Is Bella Boo asleep yet? Yeah. What's she gonna watch in the Pokemon? Yeah. What you need? What you want? Mm -hmm. This is, this is my stuff, my whole mall. You ain't gonna eat this. You don't like this kind of stuff. I don't do it. Okay, I'll make you some. Give me. Yes, a moment or Go ahead and get it out. All right, I'm just turning it down. We're going to try this drink. Hmm? Can I do what? Can I do what? What about one more? Oh, you want? Yeah, I will. I will, I will, I will.
right, y'all. Alana wants noodle soup. Go ahead and give it to me. All right, let's get some ice. Anybody try this Tampico? Yes. I agree, Lutasha. Um, you have to encourage yourself. That's what I always tell you all. Don't wait for somebody to come on a live or make a post. You have to encourage yourself. I was just reading scripture to myself this morning that I have up on my wall in my bathroom. It's up right above my vanity. Some of you have seen it if I've been on live. You have to learn to encourage yourself. I see Lana. She want noodle soup. <laughs> I don't know why she like this flavor of noodles. She like the this brand. I don't know why. <clears throat> okay. And she left the pantry. All right, y'all. Let's see how this stuff tastes. Now, this is Tampico Zero Sugar Strawberry Lemonade. It has zero fat, 10 milligrams of sodium, less than one gram of carbohydrate, no sugars, zero sugars, zero added sugars. Um, it has some vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. That's it, okay? Is that the most favorite brand? <laughs> Hi, Tracy. I don't like that brand. If I, I don't eat noodles because I'm going to tell you what. I don't eat enough. I used to. And it's not that I won't. I have to be in a, a desperate situation. So I like this brand opposed to the top ramen. I don't know. But anyway, ramen noodles has two servings per container. And they are 27 grams of carbs per serving. So 27 times 2 is what you're eating in carbohydrates when it comes to ramen noodles. So no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. Okay, let's try this. So that's that. It tastes just like what it say on the package. That's all like I said, Ted. No, thank you. I'm gonna pass on the Tampico. I'd rather just have my water. I'd rather just have my water. Okay, you all. So this phone is about to die. So if I don't end my live, it's gonna end it for me. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna pass on the on this one. Now there are some zero sugar zero carb drinks that you can try that are really good okay you may like this i'm not telling you not to try it but you try it for yourself okay you try it for yourself that's all i can tell you it's really cheap it's not expensive i don't spend a lot of money on groceries if you've been following me you know i'm budget friendly so it's, it's probably two dollars so just you try it for yourself if you're doing the low carb you may like it like i said you may like it don't let me deter you. Don't let me deter you. I love you guys. Um, I'll be live tomorrow more than likely to cook um, <laughs> Sunday dinner. <laughs> Y'all so funny. <laughs> that chunk is not. That is not what it is. <laughs> no, thank you, Tampico. <laughs> Nobody's going to drink that. I don't know anybody in, in the house that's going to drink this. So. <laughs> Anywho, have a great rest of your day. I hope that our talk was encouraging for you. Hope I wasn't too, too real for some of you. But that's all I can be. So if I'm coming live, you know, I'm going to just be, be me. I'm just going to be me, okay? Um, I will come back and show you all the finished product of our pot over here with the uh, what is this? Pig ear and hog maw. I'll show you a picture of it. 
this has to cook for hours, okay? Hours and hours. I brought it to a boil, then I turn it down to where it can boil with the top on, just like it is now. So now it's boiling with the top on, and I just let it go, okay? I will come check it, of course, to um, make sure the water has not boiled out, okay? So I'll do that. Other than that, I just let it go. And as long as you have, um, you know, the seasons that you need in it, you're good to go. You should try it, Tracy. It's good. Yeah, it's not. I done used the fancy glass and everything thinking it's going to be good. Child, they didn't fool me. Well, they ain't fooled me. That's why they sitting on the shelf. Because, you know, everybody's trying to come out with stuff now, you know. You know how they do. They jump on a bandwagon like Mrs. Dash salt free. Now everybody got a salt free season. You know, they got the no carb drink. Now everybody, you know, want a low carb drink, no carb drink. So everybody can't do everything. Do what works for you. Tampico need to stick with their juice, with the sugar, with the added sugar. That's what they need to do. That's, they, that's what they should do. <laughs> really? Who is in the background dancing? Who is that? Who is that? She look like my daughter. Is that Alana? <laughs> Love you guys. I'll see you all soon. <laughs> Alana, you so silly.